Hey everyone, Alex Bohannon. I'm a product marketing manager here at Leap. I just wanted to talk to you today about our latest production automation features. So in today's video, we're gonna be examining our workflow automation and settings, task automation and stage locking. We're gonna see the automation in action. And then we're gonna explore our brand new automation notification center that's gonna be on your dashboard in Leap CRM. So join with me, take a spin and let's hop in. So you have to be an admin to set up your workflow automation settings. To do that, you're gonna go over to settings. From there, you're going to go to workflow. You can also type that in the search bar on the left-hand side as well. Now, the last time you landed here, you probably were setting up your different job stages to reflect your business's unique process. But now you can actually add workflow automation to that. So we're going to set up the confirm appointment and assign setting. So whenever you click workflow automation on that stage, you have the opportunity to enable tasks, enable email, enable mobile push, and enable stage progression automation. So we're gonna turn enable tasks and email on. That just allows whenever a stage is changed from like a lead stage likely to this stage, you'll be able to deploy tasks and emails basically automatically, um, but I'll show you all the nuts and bolts of how that works. But additionally, it allows you to enable stage progression automation. What that means is whenever you do an action in a job that matches one of these triggers, it's gonna automatically take that job and move it to the appropriate stage. So what's the appropriate trigger for whenever we move something to the appointment stage? Well, it's setting an appointment. So whenever we click appointment scheduled, whenever an appointment is scheduled in a job from now on, it's going to move to this stage based on that action being performed. So we're gonna click update now. Now that workflow stage is setting automatically updated. Like I mentioned earlier, you can edit your tasks and you can also edit emails to have certain triggers occur and have those automations deploy those items for you. So we're going to go and configure those in our template section. So if you head over to templates, then pick between email and task. We're going to do task for this example. You'll be able to see any number of tasks that you may have already made. Now, granted, you can create a brand new task that fig fires off of whenever our stage is actually selected. But what we're going to do is we're going to edit a new feature for an old task. So we're going to go to our Eagle View measurement reports. This is a task that reminds the recipient to attach those reports to a job. But what we can do now is we can make this task actually mandatory before a job moves stages. So we can click update from here. So let's go to a job and see all of these pieces in action. So we have my job for Jay. He's in the lead stage, which is likely the first stage in your workflow. I can now add an appointment for Jay. can be assigned to me, go through all of that and click save. When you refresh the job, you'll be able to see that indeed the job has moved stages to the confirm appointment stage, but we can also check on this in one more place, which is gonna also allow us to deploy task and email automation. So if we go to our home screen and head to the new automation notification center, as an admin, I can see all the automations that need my attention all in one place from the screen. As a standard user, you'd only see the things that are actually assigned to you. So our friend Jay here, he has three emails and one task associated with the job moving stages. So you can view those items or you can see which ones you would like to send. So if you click send, it's always going to prompt you, hey, which ones do you want to send? Well, we want to send Jay an appointment reminder, which we'll do so here. And then we can also navigate to task. 
Now, this is the task we edited earlier that locked that stage. So whenever you're ready to do that, just click send from this first panel. Those automations were completed successfully, and now I can refresh my page. You will be able to see all the automations associated with your account, like I mentioned earlier in this panel. Hey, thanks for watching. Really appreciate that you took the time out of your day to take some take a break with us and explore our stage workflow automation features. Take care.